Yeah, because we're we're, 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 we're thinking yeah. in terms of like the general public. Right. It's right. like compared to the general public, but we're our worst own critic. Right. right. Exactly. But you know the man in the glass, and if you've cheated him or not. Yeah, and he's like, you motherfucker. <laughs> and I'm in there like, that's right, you like that donut, I did too. I <laughs> that's what he's saying in the... Yeah. Yeah. Joe's in the man in the glass is going, mm. <laughs> I like he's this like, guy. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Careful Boys. Today we're talking about what is the one thing you have made that you're the most proud of? Made? Like yep. with your hands or with your mind? I don't fucking know. There you go. Yeah, whatever. Or in the metaverse. What did you yeah, make in the yeah, metaverse? Steve. They don't pay me enough for this shit. It's a good duo. What do you mean by made? Like metaphorically made? Keep, keep, or asking, like, keep asking it. Literally made. Oh, we're talking about yeah. made men, huh? Is it? <laughs> Is anything really? <laughs> is anything really made, or is everything in the process of creation? Are you talking about like <laughs> a hot thing. maid? <laughs> oh yeah, there you go. A sexy maid. Is that the kind? Minute maid. Oh. Minute maid juice. Let's change it to that one. <laughs> <laughs> Changes it right now. Yeah, what's something that uh, you're proud of that you made, Ken? That okay. mental. Um, dang. did you make it today? <laughs> what did I make recently? <laughs> Your mind up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. No. Um. Careful, he can roll us back now. Oh yeah, he gained the power of self-defense. He's good, this guy. I'm trying to think. He unlocked it. Does, no, I, I guess computers, like I built a, something. I didn't make it, but I bought the parts and put it together. It's the and most like, you know, proud of thing you made is a computer, that's cool. That's that's I cool. mean, recently, yeah. but yeah, because one, it's like my work, and I'm proud that I made the money to afford to build these machines. To, so it's, to me, it's like, oh, I fucking built a beast of a PC mm. with all this hard work that we put in the like past few years. You know, yeah. so it's like kind of like a trophy, but also awesome. like, you know, building a PC does feel really nice. Yeah, it because it's like usually I buy it for my home to have fun on, but when you earn the money to like do it for your business, it's like yeah, it's like another. You know, that's like. Pretty much it. Yeah. That's actually pretty cool. Oh, I know mine. Uh, mine is actually me. Ooh, you're me. I like that. No, no, like myself. Oh. Like I felt like growing up, I've been uh, very observant. My muscle. <laughs> no, uh, oh, you're no, that's what I thought. No, yeah, no, from, like, from like, bodybuilding. Like, growing up, I've been very observant. I've just been an observant kid, and I would just see qualities like I didn't like in my dad, or I did like in my dad, or like in my parents, or whatever. And I'm like, oh, I want to be like that, or like, oh face hard situations and I'm like, oh man, I realized I didn't like that about myself. Mm. And I would try really hard to like fix certain parts. Like, and I, I felt like I was, I've been very intentional about that since I was a kid and I would yeah. always, like even like, I'm like, why the fuck don't I like cilantro? And I would just like, just give me extra cilantro please. And I'm like, oh, oh. and I'm trying to like soap. Oh. This guy's got a cilantro fan. <laughs> like, I would just always try to like fix things about myself. <laughs> wow. So that's something I'm like, like whoever I am today, because even until this day, my mom's like, you raised yourself, I think. And I was like, yeah. She can it. admit that? Wow. Yeah. She was, like, she was like, you are who you are because of you. Yeah. There's nothing to do with me or or dad. And I was like, yeah, that's true. I just like raised myself and tried to make. Kept experimenting. Yeah, I just kept experimenting and tinkering with myself. Wow. What would you tell somebody who's who wants to start that process? To start doing all the things you have very strong feelings against and just start pushing yourself into doing those things. Nice. Oh. So I have a lot of strong feelings against murder. <laughs> we gotta, we gotta, should, they, should they go to Rubio's or Bob? Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Order extra like... onions, extra cilantro. Yeah. <laughs> Try it out. Oh my god, dude. That's really pretty cool. So like building your will, cupcakes. pretty much. Yeah. Your willpower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty cool. It's like that's pretty cool. He's playing yourself. Sims by himself. <laughs> by myself, as the yeah. only child. But that's dope to edit your traits where you don't like that you don't like something. That takes a lot of self control. Yeah. Well, knowing that you have the power over doing it is already a certain level of self awareness yeah, that's that hard, like man. a lot of people don't have and understand they they can do. Yeah. I feel like when I think of bar, I think of discipline overall. Like that's one of the discipline. <laughs> yeah, I would. I would. Really? Yeah, I would think of you as like a very disciplined person. You rack a discipline. But I, I understand. It's also like now the, the way you talk about it, it makes sense because it's like, oh, okay, well, that's it was premeditated. You were like, I'm probably I need to be very disciplined in how I approach that. Yeah, piece of shit. <laughs> Fuck that's that. pretty deep. I thought he was gonna just be like, man, I made his prime ribs. I made it real good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, what, what I love about what Nick just said about Bart 
is Bart knows himself. So Nick's like, he's disciplined, and Bart's like, I'm a fucking cookie sneaking bitch, dude. Bart's like, I know myself. But well. discipline about the stuff that actually matters. Because like, it's hard to be disciplined your cookies. whole fucking life, yeah. right? But yeah. it's like, yeah, there are aspects that you need to be very disciplined about, and I feel like that's kind of you. But it is true that you created this guy that we all see as that disciplined guy, but then you know maybe the complex colors of you that's yeah. way different. Yeah. And I'm not really, I'm not disciplined, because I like fucking have all these conversations in my head of trying to relax all the time. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. But you created this guy that we all see. Yeah. And that's why, okay, something I want to share with you guys that you inspired me to share is this guy, this, this poem called The Man in the Glass. I think this is exactly uh, Ooh. your shit, right? Not Man in the Mirror. By Pete, Peter Dale Wimbro. Okay, he says, Not when you get what you want in your struggle for self and the world makes you king for a day, just go to the mirror and look at yourself and see what the man has to say. For it isn't your f your father or mother or wife whose judgment upon you must pass. The fellow whose verdict counts most in your life is the one staring back in the glass. Ooh, wow. He's the fellow to please, never mind all the rest, for he's with you clear to the end. And you've passed your most difficult, dangerous test if the man in the glass is your friend. Wow. So if you like yourself, that's uh, really cool. I hate myself uh, a little bit. <laughs> you may fool the whole world down the pathways of years, and get passed on the back as you pass. But your final reward will be heartache and tears if you've cheated the man in the glass. Wow. Uh, that's That sums up life right there. That's like Michael Jackson's song, dude. Sometimes I have uh, corruption with the man in the mirror. But then he just reminded me of it because Bart, yeah. Bart's facial expression changed when you said he's disciplined and he's like, I'm fucking not. Yeah. But he knows the man in the glass. Yeah. Right? We don't know that. Yeah. Guy. Ooh. Yeah, because we're, 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 we're thinking yeah. in terms of like the general public. Right. It's Brand like compared to the general public, but we're our worst own critic. You know? Right. Exactly. But you know the man in the glass and if you've cheated him or not. Yeah, and he's like, you motherfucker. And then I'm in there like, that's right, you like that donut. I did too. I <laughs> that's what he's saying in the. Yeah. Yeah. Joe's in the man in the glass is going, I like He's to like, jack off. Yeah. 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 I like to jack off. Like yeah, that's me, up. baby. I like to. <laughs> makes me happy. Makes me happy. Ooh. 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 Hey, you. Maybe I'll jack off again. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Only me. Catch him in that moment. I love myself. <laughs> Dude, I bet I could guess what your answer would be. Wow. Is this fucking office. See, the, the best thing you've ever made, right? Because I think it's the best thing you've made. Hey, let's go, made like, that's a nice compliment. Dude, that's it's really, sick. Wow. You it turn, is sick. You turned really that sick. place into this place. <laughs> Although I don't have any other things to really compare it with. I've just seen photos of your other places. But <laughs> yeah. Who knows if they're real? They're all Could be sick. AI. They're all very sick. My um, my Could absolute favorite thing I've made, uh, and it's not like I've made this, but I put a lot of effort into this thing if you ever come to like a quest event or like even like soju or any of our events the community that surrounds like us is yeah. it's like a quest guys are always good vibes it's a very yeah. good it was community. such a cool event bro the so you think you dance? Yeah, yeah. Like you could tell it was a lot of love. But we're, I'm not like making it, but like we, I do act for the longest time since like, as for as long as I can remember, I've actively always tried to like make a nice community around whatever I'm doing. Yeah. Wow. And I think that's like the hardest thing to do. Like even what you did with the JK Christmas podcast. Yeah, that shit was amazing. Just everything in general, yeah. It's just like, I think that's- that Andy did the office around the same time. So. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And the Halloween party, that was really good. Good thing we're not being graded on a curve around here, yeah. dude. We'd be <laughs> taking his ass in the hallway. I'm F minus and shit. But yeah, I think that's I think that's the hardest thing to do, is to try to like make a- Building community is fucking hard. Yeah. I mean, you do a great job even on Instagram. Yeah, for even the online community, you're yeah, just good at building hard. community. It's super hard, you just have to, it takes so much time that you, you can't shortcut a lot of things, but yeah. I think in the end, it's like super worth it. And, it, and then it, you know, you build a community and then the community itself will build back. Yeah. So it's like a, it's like a get the ball rolling kind of thing. But yeah. I think if you ever come to like one of our things and you just meet people, I think everyone who comes to our stuff will notice that like, why is everybody so nice to me? Why is everyone so cool? It's like, there's like a, a kind of almost a hive mind of like, be friendly, like say hi to people, be cool, you know? Yeah. Don't be a creep. Cool. That's another thing. You're spreading good. <laughs> I've someone, never yeah. felt anybody with creepy eyes in a quest event, so <laughs> in yeah. kids, they all have creepy eyes, but they cover their masks. So. Yeah. <laughs> they cover their eyes with the they, No no, they have the <laughs> the straw hat like yeah. this. And they, they cover the fact they're licking their lips constantly. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. Licking the chaps. Mm -hmm. But building stuff is also cool, but yeah, mainly just people. It's that's, like that's community cool. building, that's insane. Yeah, it's hard. Mm -hmm. Nice. Building people, that's what you do. Building group, groups. Or build, it's more like building the comfortability that someone wants to come back. It's yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's good. For real. For yeah, real. yeah. That's, that's a great good. marketer. What about you, Joe? Um, I think, I think I, 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 I'm very proud of making dreams come true. <laughs> what the fuck? Hell yeah. <laughs> For myself and for people, because yeah. I was thinking about this, I was like, well, "What is? Is there one thing?" That's and I'm like, tight. "No." I do remember talking to Bart about this too, like very early on in like YouTube, and just and and then like I think we made our first million just dollars, and then we were like, I, I was like, "Man, isn't it crazy that we just said, wouldn't it be cool if we had a company that we can kind of run and just create content with with our friends, and then just." just make a company that's just different from, you know, what we thought was possible. And then from that point on, I was like, damn, this kind of worked, what else would work? And then so my, I think there was a pivotal moment in my mind where it wasn't necessarily the um, universe just making me lucky, but me actively constructing my world. Yeah. So then from that point on, it was never a question of like, can I construct this lifestyle or can I create this concept and make it a reality? It was just, how do I do it? And I think that was one of the most liberating like feelings of like, oh, now I can just produce music with Ken and we came out with like three albums or like now I can like get involved in this thing and then open up a shop. And I was like, isn't it kind of weird how like some people will just have one dream and then be able to accomplish that. But I have one like every month and I'm like, <laughs> that's true. And I'm just like, that's just fucking weird. And then, and then it's so normal now to the point where I forget that it is like usually a big step for people to overcome like this feeling of like, can I do it? Can I not? But once you do it, it's like a roller coaster of like, yeah, yeah. yeah it's not even can I? It's just how and who will help me. Right. Do you yeah. think that only happened because you achieved that first, oh, I made it feeling? Because- Oh, uh, yeah. Because I had to prove it to myself Confident. that yeah. like, oh, that would be nice one day, you know? Like, and then I always hated a lot of the ways companies worked in my old jobs. And I was like, and people would tell you like, oh, that's not how companies work. You can't, you can't work 11 months and then not work the last month. It doesn't work like that. Or like, I wanted a, a, <laughs> a, 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 a way where we, just got the job done, not by the hours together. Right. So yeah, like, yeah. we're taught, you gotta clock in, clock out, or you're, or else you're not working hard. But I'm like, no, there's a project that needs to be executed, and if you need to be gone for four or five days, fuck it, be gone. And I was like, what about a company that puts family and, and friends first, where like, we had employees where, where they were like, yeah, my, my grandma's sick, I need to go. And I'm like, why are you asking me for, for permission? Here, I'm just gonna pay for the month, go see your grandma. And then he was like, yeah, I got to see her pass and that was awesome. There's like yeah. people that were like, yeah, I, I got into a car accident, motorcycle accident, I work, I can't work for the next two months. And we're just like, yeah, we'll just pay your, your monthly. We know you're good for it. Like, yeah, cool. So it's like, for me, I'm like- Hey dude, I had a kidney stone and you guys gave me a bonus at a great time and that was awesome. And you got to pay for your kidney stone. Yeah, really. <laughs> but I, I, I think it was like, it was like being able to create something where I'm like, society's telling you that's not normal and it doesn't work that way. And I'm just like, well, I'll make it work. Mm -hmm. You know, and then that was really, that was, I think the moment where I'm like, man, anything can just work. And if you just think about the solution and then there's no real concrete rules in the world, except for like the law, yeah. but even that's bendable, you know, like yeah. depending on what you do and what you can who get you away know. with yeah. <laughs> yeah. and who you know. Yeah. And then and it, and then this freedom, it just became like, the world is this like. The world is your oyster. Oh. Basically. Oh shit. Is that a new quote? I never heard that one. No. no that's I think it's the world is a that? muscle, your muscle. What do you mean like, a, it's, so it's like. The world is that. your oyster. Like, but how so? Like it's, it's, you eat it? Clamshell, like, it's clamshell. You guys never heard of that it's expression? It's like basically like, like you is, can do whatever you want. The world is your oyster, that's what people say. The world is like a muscle is what I heard. Type it in the world is your oyster. I think the biggest thing, I think the biggest thing is. The universe is your shellfish. Oh yeah, I heard that one. What were you saying, Joe? Well, I think the biggest thing is that it came from the world is yours. No, Scarface. the world is your oyster, right there. Oh, <laughs> <It's really laughs> fucking. We know, we've heard that shit. Where were you in the cliche? Let episode? it go, god damn. Wait, what does it actually say, though? You're in the position to say, <laughs> You're the one that says the quote. What do you need? What is it? Yeah, it, 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 it says, 
The wow. world is your oyster. Wow. You're in the position. Let's go. Let's troll it. Can't let it go. To take the. Does it matter? You're gonna get trolled by the troll king. I know. All right. <laughs> One big takeaway, okay, uh, is I probably felt very helpless before I realized my accomplishment <laughs> and realized that this is something that I was able to create with my friends yeah. and a team and humans made it happen, yeah. not yeah. things are happening to me. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And then from that, the, like, the switch changed yeah. the and I was like, yeah. yeah, the world is my oyster. I control Absolutely. destinies. <laughs> Yeah, I like the scarfish. Did, at any point, did it ever feel to you like oysters were delicious? No, <laughs> that too. But like, at, at, at any point of your journey of like achieving all these things, were you like once like, dang, I feel like I only made this decision, but now all this dope shit is happening, and it's like it's like out of your control almost. But you kind of just navigated it that way, but you're not really doing everything, you know what I mean? Oh, I don't, yeah, I don't think I'm doing everything. It's yeah, just yeah. things are working out. Like, I don't have a precise, like, I'm gonna get like 2,000 subscribers tomorrow. Like, it's not really like that. But yeah, looking back and seeing the results of everything and going like, this is fucking crazy. Or like having moments where I'm like, looking at the Bellagio with my buddies, we're broke as fuck and we're looking at it and being like, man, it'll be so cool if we stay there one day. Yeah, and then I'm like 18, right? Fast forward to me being like, I don't know, like 24 with Bart and we have a penthouse there. And I'm like, holy shit. And I remember that moment. Dang. That shit was crazy. Right? We had a fucking piano in our room. I know. Why? Why? <laughs> what was our occasion? Uh, we just wanted to do something nice. Oh, wow. So Damn. get everybody. I know. It's, isn't it cool that we're ta telling all these stories of what it used to be like? <laughs> yeah. when we had Wait, you, so did, you were part of the Bellagio one? He was there. He that got to live through it. Like we yeah. got one. Whole, uh, one like penthouse room, and then it was just like every time we called, like, yeah, we're gonna need like ten rooms, Damn. and we just felt so boss, like book, 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 and everyone so just had the sick. whole the whole floor. Damn. Yeah, yeah so it was good. so tight. <laughs> Must be nice. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, I was so nice. cool back in those days. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is the best days now, boy. Right now is the best. Yeah, it's getting it's getting there. I'm sure everyone there was oh, real boy. thankful. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, did you go? No, oh, I did. Yeah. yeah. Uh, something you made. I think don't say it's fucking kids, dude. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> you didn't. <laughs> you know that was my fucking. That was my whole fucking thing. No, when I was chewing uh, the sack out of my puppet. <laughs> it, it's kind of a combination of like what what Joe and, and Ryan said too, because it's like I, I don't know. I feel like every day I go to work, every time I come to a place of work, I feel very fucking lucky, and I feel very blessed that I have like. Like I have this place. I feel very lucky that I have the gym and the community around the gym. Uh, my clients that I get to work with, like, yeah. I feel like I'm blessed all the time as far as like, I, I, I always had dreams of like, yeah, I'm gonna be training people, I'm gonna be working with people on a daily basis, but I never would thought it would be what it is today. And, mm -hmm. and, and the people I get to work with, like, like, like Jeremy, the guy who runs the gym, and, and the Jiu Jitsu coaches that we get to work with, like Kenny and Joe and all those guys, like, it's crazy to see the community of students that come through the gym and how they leave other jiu-jitsu gyms and they're like, yo, dude, this is the spot. Like, I don't know what you guys have here, but it's cooking. And like, we hear that so much to the point where we're like, fuck, really? Okay, I guess Sick. I guess we have something here, you know? And the clients that come back and they're like, dude, we fucking love this place. We, I can't tell you how special this place was for me. And I'm like, really? Like, okay, cool, all right. Nice. You know, and then even being here, like getting to see how this place has grown since I've been here. And to the point where you thought I was, you know, I thought I was just gonna be like a, a semi, you know, semi guest. No, you are, yeah. You still are. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about? I mean, you're only oh, here four times a month, you know? Yeah, that's exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it only took you eight months to fucking open up. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a, I'm a slow learner, I'm sorry. Hesh got so busy, man, we just can't. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but like to see, and then like the community that, that you guys thing. have that like, that I get to be around and it's, I don't know, it's, it's just fucking really cool. I don't, and I know it's not something I made, but it's something that I get to be a part of, so. No, yeah, I don't think it's you something made this like you. You have a hand yeah. in making it, for sure. Yeah. 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 You know what I think it is? It's not something that you made <clears throat> literally, it's more so of the decisions that you chose to keep those things in your life. So you yeah, made yeah, those yeah, decisions yeah. for that to continue. Yeah. 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 Because, yeah, really, this is just a space, and then we're an organism when we come together. It's not yeah. like 
Bart fucking puppeteers all of us, or yeah, you know, sure, sure. just most of us. He micromanages. Us. <laughs> he micromanages me. He's like, say this. Nick. He feeds me lines, dude. Yeah, he's like, he's hey, next time, can you can you say it exactly like this? <laughs> hey, you want me to disagree? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, I'll disagree right now. Just give it. And then on the other side, like, you know, yeah, it, it's just cool, bro. It, it's just cool to be able to work with all these people that you really love and like yeah, you, man. like you get to grow with, you know, like, cause I do love you guys, you fucking losers. Yeah, I fucking love you guys. Right. Nah, man. Nah, for real though, like. And, and I feel like it is important to say it more often because you know is, I'm yeah. very thankful for all, all you guys. Are I almost said that for all you guys, you know. And it is cool, like because I never thought this would ever be a thing or yeah. any of my life, you know. Yeah. So I just feel like fuck, this is crazy every day. Yeah. Every day. It's dope too that it led you to doing other podcasts. Like you do more than you even want to. <laughs> yeah. Like like even yeah. work with David and Gil, bro. Like. He's on Genius Brain, Off Media. He's like, oh fuck, man. Yeah. These guys all want me. Nah, but it, but it's it's like I'm very fucking blessed, man. I never thought I, ever in my life I would be doing any of this shit. Yeah. Ever, ever. That's sick, bro. Like it would be cool. Like I'd be like, oh yeah, it'd be cool. But like I never thought it would lead me to this like place, you know. Oh, for real. Kind of just got launched into it. I think you yeah. you could thank your goofy reactions because I think that's why people like. Just you on <laughs> cast, cause it's just so fun. Yeah, you're yeah. essential as hell. Yeah, bro. I just yeah. feel like I'm having a good time, and Steve's gonna make me rich through crypto. So it's like it's a win, 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 win. <laughs> it's a triple or win. Else. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, he literally said, "Or else, dude. If you don't get rich off this shit, I'll beat your fucking ass." Oh, he's gonna beat your. Ass. Yeah, he's gonna beat my fucking ass. He said, "I'll learn how. To, I'll learn. I'll, I'll become a black belt, and I'll beat his ass." <laughs> 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 You'll get it in a five, dude. Gets it before you do. Handle it. That's what I made so far in my life that I can say confidently is millionaires because that's fucking that's tight. That's, that's gangster. What a cool Pretty thing strict. to be able yeah. to. Yeah. Yeah. What a flex, man. Uh, so it, but the best thing True. really is the current crop of people in my, cor my crypto corner group. They know now how to turn a small amount of money into a big amount of money, which is all I talk about. It's not about risking it all. It's not about selling your fucking house and buying crypto. It's about taking, if you're any good at it, right? Take a small amount, right? And then buy gem projects that everyone's missing. I'm a value investor. I buy the shit out of really undervalued cryptocurrencies that have massive amounts of potential. I focus on the metrics, why people are missing them and then I buy the fucking shit out of them while everyone's fucking off. And you see, you always see the same lines in crypto, right? It's like a bunch of bullshit going boring and nobody cares. And that's when I'm buying the fucking shit out of it. And all my people are buying the fucking absolute shit out of it. And I don't miss a single crypto corner. I'm there every week. I've been sick. I've been fucking tired. I've been all kinds of shit. I lost a million dollars live. I showed up five days straight and just let everyone know we're going to do it again. There's no way we're not because I do this every fucking single time. And I'm not just saying that, I do it every time because I know this market. I've not only told people when the market bottom was going to be, it's all time stamped. You can see it on Discord, you can see it on my Patreon channel. You can see when the market was bottom because I told you when it was. And then you can see when I said, we have 10 months to make it. That was in January, January, late January of this year and then I did a JK video, which just came out, of course, in December. But <laughs> we, we shot October 7th, I believe. And I talked in those in those videos, I said, you have one month to make it. And it's and, and in the and in the video I talk about Wu Kuji, right? And Kuji was 70 fucking two 71 what something cents, 75 cents? Yeah. yeah, it was under a dollar. Wu was uh 18 cents. Today Wu is 40, 45, 45 cents. Yeah. Kuji hit $5.50. Yeah, wonderful. And I was buying the fucking shit out of him, right? The whole time. People making fun of me. People saying like, yeah, well, look at what happened with Luna. Yeah, okay, dude. I do it every fucking time. Guess what I put into Luna? $28,000. When I lost $1.2 million, I put in $28,000, $1.1 million. Because I cashed out. Thank God. <laughs> when Putin started firing rockets, oh, yeah. I cashed out. 100 Gs. should have cashed out way more. You live and you learn. But dude, I am telling you, it's it's it, what I'm proudest of is that people know that they don't have to be subject to our shitty ass financial system. There is an alternative, actually, believe it or not. And we still have an edge on it for however long we have an edge left, right? Because there's about to be massive amounts of growth into 2024. Bitcoin ETFs, banks are going to be adding crypto. I'm talking about Bitcoin or Ethereum. In, uh, into their reserves, so to back their own currency, uh, to back their own Whoa. reserves, they're going to be using Bitcoin and Ethereum. Watch, 
right? Watch what happens next. It's one of my favorite things to say in Crypto Corner. And my corners know, like, watch what happens next. Something I said the whole fucking time. And now they're seeing what happens next. People literally, if you could see my Crypto Corner Discord right now, you wouldn't even believe it. Because it's like people posting like, I've never seen this much money before. I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah. People posting like, I put in $3,000. I made 40. Like shit like that where you're just like, man. Because cause, cause I tell you what. The, the weirdest thing about doing a show where you're talking to a webcam and it's just you and people who are just typing stuff is that you don't know if anyone's gonna do it. I can't make anybody do it. Yeah. I can't just, I can't make you buy. I can't make yeah. you do it. I don't wanna make you do it. But like to see the results that people were taking it seriously. When I said, please don't miss this, guys, you're, you're, you're gonna hate yourself later. If you just can hang on for a couple more months. And then remember when Bitcoin, all this Bitcoin FUD happened, Binance having problems. Yeah. Just before, when I said one month to make it, just before that, when we had like two, three months to make it, I was like, guys, they're trying to flush you out. Please don't fall for this shit. Because people are going, should I sell? I'm worried. Maybe I go into stable coin for a while and we'll just see what happens. That's how they get you. Yeah. Don't trust them and don't even trust me. Trust the cycle. That's what I follow. I follow the crypto cycle. I think that's the best metric to follow. But it, and it's, you know, seeing everyone having the mindset. They don't even really need me anymore, honestly. That's, that's cool. the best thing about it. They know how to take a small amount and turn it into a big amount now. And that's all I care about. That's why I only charge you five bucks. You guys know I'm not here to farm you. I want you to win for yourself. And that's, that's my favorite thing. That's favorite thing I've ever made. Real quick, we, one of the most frequently asked stuff that we get to the JK um, IG is how to join your thing. Oh yeah. So it's in my Instagram. It's, um, Patreon.com slash sticky, and then you can, you'll can you find Crypto Corner. How right? do you spell that? S-T-I-K-K-I, -K -K -I, yeah. But that's, and look, the people there are the best. It's a, JK, it's all, it's all, mishmash. it's a JK community, it's crypto people, who, or people who are crypto curious in the JK community coming over. And like, dude, it's just the best people. They help, everybody helps each other. It's all, it's so dope. And I'm thankful for the, this group. I love you boys. And like, yeah, it's. I just want everyone here to win. I, I need. Let's I need everyone it, here to win. Dude. Let's do it again, guys. Gotta do it again. We're going to do it. Again. Jesus, dude. You yeah. made me a millionaire yeah. twice. Hey. And took it away. One more time. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding news. Careful, boys. Is a brand. Just kidding news is the man of smart people. The people of Just Kidding News. Careful, boys. They are very smart. Just kidding news. The number one podcast in the world. <laughs>